quick view of the and chopper spins and flippers. So we are going to break them all down individually. Starting with the dorsal fin located right on their back. Now that dorsal fin does not actually contain any bone and is simply made up of a dense connective tissue very similar to the cartilage in our ears and in our nose. Now that dorsal fin will help to stabilize the dolphin as they swim through the water, very similar to how a keel on a boat would work. But something that's very cool about a dolphin's dorsal fin is that it is completely unique to each individual animal. So we encourage you throughout the rest of your stay here at the Golfarium to see if you can tell our stars apart by just that dorsal fin alone. down to the sides of the dolphins, to their pectoral flippers. And I did say flippers and not fins because they do actually contain bone in them. In fact, if you were to take an x-ray of these pectoral flippers, you would see a bone structure very similar to what we have in our fingertips to our elbows or even in our feet. It's just simply condensed into that flipper. Now those flippers are great for giving their trainers a high five or even waving hello to the audience. But they are of course what make dolphins so well known for all of those lightning quick stops and sudden turns. And last but not least, we are going to move all the way down to the ends of the dolphins, to their tail fins or flukes. And you did hear me say flukes plural because there are two of them connected right in the center by a median notch. And our boys are giving you a great big wave hello. Feel free to wave on back. And you might even notice that those tail flukes are unique to each individual dolphin the same way that their dorsal fins are. But those tail flukes are actually connected to a very powerful region of the dolphin that we call the peduncle. Now the peduncle is actually used in a wide variety of different things, including a very common hunting technique called a tail lob. Now a tail lob is where the dolphins will actually smack the surface of the water with their tail flukes in that very powerful peduncle and it will stun any surrounding fish, making it much easier for them to just gobble it right up. It is also the power of that peduncle that will allow dolphins to get themselves up and out of the water for a better view of their surroundings. So we're going to answer a very common question that we get each and every day here at the Golfarium. And that is how in the world do you train all the amazing behaviors that we've seen so far during this show? And it's actually through something called positive reinforcement, which is just a fancy way of saying we reward any of the behavior we would like them to repeat. We simply ignore any of the behavior that we don't want them to repeat. So today we are going to showcase that by breaking down a behavior that Chopper actually already knows, but we're going to show you the steps of how we trained it, and that is called a breach. But first, one of the things that a dolphin will actually learn is called a target, and that is where the trainers will place a flat palm over the surface of the water, and the dolphins will touch it with their bottlenose beaks or rostrum, which you can see Chopper was just demonstrating. But what's pretty cool is the dolphins will then learn to follow that target wherever we move it. They even learn to target other parts of their body to it. But it allows us to train a number of different fundamental behaviors. So if we took that target hand and we moved it from side to side, we would get their favorite answer, no way. <laughs> we can also take that same target hand, move it up and down for a very adorable head shake, yes. We can even get a little bit fancy, take that target hand, move it around in a circle for a very fancy dolphin style hula dance. So now to start things off, Chopper actually started to learn this behavior right here at the docks. So you can see Sherry is actually using two target hands, one for his rostrum and one for his peck, to kind of communicate to him that we want him to move a little bit sideways because this is actually what we call a side breach. It's kind of like a dolphin style cannonball. So you can see she's able to slowly raise that a little bit higher and a little bit higher. And you can see using those two hands is actually very similar to the hand signal that she's going to be giving him in a moment, which is kind of the two on top of each other and she's going to move one higher. So it looks like he is going to be demonstrating that final behavior for all of you in just a moment. So you're going to see him get that hand signal from Sherry, take off, dive to the bottom of the habitat, 
And right there is what we call a dolphin style cannonball. So we can give Trevor a big round of applause. Now you heard multiple times Sherry blow that whistle to Chop for Chopper to communicate to him. Great job, that's exactly what I was looking for. Now come on back for some reinforcement. Now that reinforcement can come in a variety of different ways. As you can see, she did give him some fish. We can also give them sugarless, flavorless jello, ice cubes, their favorite toys, or even a nice dolphin style background. But once again, give Chopper a big round of applause. So now at this point in our show, we're gonna answer another very 